Hi sweeties, this is going to be an unboxing and a one year review of the Albany Park Corner Sectional in the Fabric Distress Vegan Leather. So stay tuned. <laughs> The sectional arrives in three large boxes. The website mentions that it will take you about 15 minutes to assemble. However, that is after you have unboxed it. I believe that it might take you about an hour because it's three separate boxes and then two individual small boxes that contain the legs to the couch and the tools you need and the instructions on how to build the couch. They also give you two options of the type of legs you want, either gold or walnut. I chose the walnut because it would go better with my decor. In addition to the eight legs, they give you two supporting legs. This is where I say you're gonna spend the most time is unboxing the couches because there's three big sections. They wrap it extremely well and then you would wanna organize it in the method that you will be placing the couch in your living room. So I put the sections where they're going to be built because I bought the sectional. And it w I figured it would make my life much easier if I did that first. And then I would set the timer to see if it really indeed takes me only 15 minutes. When installing the legs, you're going to want to use this method that I'm doing here instead of what's in the instructions because it's going to make your life much easier. You're going to want to put the washer and the screws first and then you're going to want to tighten it into its location underneath the couch as I'm doing here with your fingers. After you have installed all of the screws, which are four with their washers, you're gonna to wanna to tighten it with the L wrench that they provide you. Make sure you use a little elbow grease to ensure that it's extremely tight. You don't want it to get loose anytime in the future. So remember that I purchased a sectional. So this portion is the part on the right that you see already built. That is the section that I did first and then I went on to build the other parts of the couch. So the pieces on the floor, E and F. So this is E and E, and this is F, the arm rests. And the, the black has to go towards the back and the leather towards the front and the arm rests. One bracket here, and then you have the other one is going to clip to here, and those are for the back rest. Okay, so that's how you want to set it up. You build the middle part and then set up the other two pieces in the section you want. If you purchase the sectional, you're going to need another person to help you because I'm, my son is currently recording and I'm trying to connect the brackets to the armrest and this is the bottom portion of the couch. So this is where I had some difficulty. Now we're gonna connect the F, which is the back. F, F, the back frame and this is the back frame Oof. it has these brackets here to connect to this side of the couch and that side okay so now the back uh, rests the arm rests and the base are connected two sections <gasps> now you gotta flip them over to put the legs. Now all you gotta do is, it's really light, so. Scoop them over. And you're going to see, right here, you gotta put the legs. So these are the legs for the middle support. So you want to unscrew it and you're going to unscrew it counterclockwise. And then it's going to go right in here. Right 
show you how to screw it clockwise. There we go, nice and tight. I believe I was following the steps that were in the instructions, but at this point we had some issues because when we went to flip the couch over, the backrest became disconnected, as you can see here in the video. And then I had to do my best to connect the backrest back in its place. And eventually we were able to do it. Um, I believe I followed the steps, but I think it's best just to do the armrest and then the bottom frame first and then add the backrest because the backrest eventually falls off if you purchase a sectional. This part of the assembly, I'm going to give it to you in live time so that you can see that when assembling the backrest into your sectional, you need someone to hold the portion where my son is holding because you need to clip it. You need to, you need to connect the brackets here. And then over to the left of the screen, someone should be holding it there to help you as well. But if you don't have anyone, it will stay together. It's just quicker if you have more people. You do need two people minimum to build the sectional because I would be able to build it on my own if my son wasn't there, but it would take me much longer and it would probably be more, be more complicated. Should you say it? Yeah, but I understand, Mom. All right, so it looks like that you're good by yourself, though. Come on, I need your help. What am I supposed to do? Right oh, this one. Okay, I connected it. See, that was pretty easy. You're making it seem hard. You need to pay for the extra guy. Mm -hmm. Wait, did we do something wrong? Oh no. Yes, mom, we did do something wrong. Something's not all the way down right here. For some reason, the section that connects both sides of the sectional was not even, as you can see here from the video, but it didn't affect the couch's wear and tear over the year, as you will see later. And this is the last section of the sectional, and as you can see, I do need help again. I need to flip over this section and connect it to the other part of the couch. So you're gonna to wanna to gently place the couch down and then you're going to connect the that sections to the brackets as you can see in the video. We're trying to connect the left portion of the couch into the other section. And it's easy at this point because we figured out the method and now Mir is doing the last steps. From then on all the way down. Cause it's a 1970s couch. Okay, so the hard part is done. Now we gotta move the couch to where it's supposed to be, right in this corner, and put the cushions. So this is what the couch looks like when I finished building it with my son on February 10th, 2022. And we're gonna go in closer. And as you can see, it's a really nice quality vegan leather. And now we're gonna move on to what it looks like a year later at, on the exact date, February 10th, 2023. And it looks exactly the same. It feels like it's brand new, like we just unboxed it. The only issue that I'm currently having is that I have a cat now and she tends to obviously wanna sit on the couch where I am and she's already put a little bit of scratches on the couches. You can't really tell unless you sit on it with your bare skin. Like that's on the armrest, so you're going to feel it when you're sitting on But from far, you can't really tell. So that's something that I'm trying to figure out now because she's only four months. So I don't want her to destroy my couch just like cats do, but look at it, it looks great. It looks good and it looks like it's brand new, like I just purchased the couch and it feels really good. I'm going to give you a quick review on my opinion of the Albany Parks Corner Sectional Vegan Leather. I ordered this couch on January 2022 and I received it on February 10th. 
of 2022. And the reason it took nearly a month for me to receive my shipment is because they were having COVID issues. COVID-19 did prevent a lot of businesses from allowing for your shipment to arrive on time. I did send them an email. So, and they responded right back with some details on when I would receive my shipment. So that was the only issue I had was waiting an entire month for my couch. But I believe now it's 2023. I'm sure you're not gonna have those issues. Let's go into pricing. You check the website right now. The pricing for this couch is $2,029, I believe. But they are having a President's Day sale. So you'll get it at the same price that I paid for it back in 2022. But after the sale, the regular price before taxes, before shipment, before any discounts, it's $2,029. So you're going to end up paying over $2,300, $2,400 for this corner sectional couch. But if you purchase it, during a sale like, like the one that's coming up this month in february is the president's day sale you're gonna get it the exact same price that i paid for which i'm going to put it up here so you can see so i don't know much about leather quality but i didn't want real leather obviously and i wanted something that was going to be easy to maintain they have different fabrics but i wanted something that was going to be very simple to clean this couch has been very easy to maintain for the next for the past year so i did mention early in the video that i had an issue with my kitten my boyfriend gave me a kitten before i even thought of having one because i already have two cats so she's currently jumping on the furniture so i'm trying to figure out what I can use to cover this, these couches while I'm not here or while I'm sleeping because I don't want to get a cover to cover this beautiful fabric. This is the reason I bought it. I love the color. It goes with my decor, even though my son thinks it's like an 70s or 80s thing that he mentioned. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention was I don't like sectionals because sectionals take up too much space, but this sectional works perfect in my Manhattan apartment. And my living room slash dining room area is very small, but I was, I'm was i able to fit this corner sectional with a table from Ikea that fits six people, um, a bench, and about 15 people can sit in this living room slash dining room area and be very comfortable. I love that the couch is not taking up all of the space of the living room. Regular sectionals, would have taken up all this space, but Albany Park designed this sectional to fit in a small section, which is great. So I highly recommend this couch. If you're looking for a modern furniture, if you're looking for a vegan option, Albany Park provides you that. So this is the Albany Park corner sectional from the Albany collection in the fabric vegan leather. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave your comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you also let me know other items you would want me to review or recipes that you would want me to make. And always remember, be real, not perfect. Bye.